All right, so we're going to talk about how to install the bafflets that go inside the corrector lens. The first thing you need to do is take off the focuser. I've already taken off two of the screws on the retaining ring. There's another one. I'm going to remove the focuser. <coughs> and you can see inside here we have the uh, corrector group. Now you need to come around to this side and we need to remove the baffle. Okay, so now we want to remove the primary baffle. It separates right here. It also separates here, so you don't want to grab it at the tip because you might unthread this one instead. So you grab down here, unthread it. And then it's nice to have your hand underneath here to catch it as you unthread it. You don't obviously you don't want to hit the primary mirror or bang against anything. Almost out. Okay, there we go. And now you want to remove this by pushing from the back. Now we'll demonstrate, let's take a look over here. Show here. So here's the, the lens group here and the optics are in the center. You can push on the side of the uh, cell that's holding the lenses so you don't have to touch and you'll push out here and Mike if you can push there again now come over here stop come over here so we can see so now it's starting to come out and I'm going to catch it there it comes almost out and there we go now we have the mirror cell out and I'm going to put it over here okay so now um, we're going to take this out. There are two uh, slits here. Um, you should be able to just with your fingers um, unscrew the retaining ring that holds the lens in. Now you don't need to take the lens out. All we're doing is putting the little bafflet in. Now there's two different bafflets um, and they're different sizes. So yeah, we'll grab the other one here so you see them both. Okay, so we have the skinnier one and a, and a fatter one. The skinnier one goes towards the secondary mirror. So it goes towards the front of the telescope. The fatter one's going to go towards the back of the telescope, towards the focuser side. So right now this is the side that's going towards the secondary, so we're going to install the skinny one. And so you just drop it in there and thread this back in and you go down finger tight. So there, now it's installed and it shouldn't really have any, it shouldn't make any noise. So now we're going to take out the, uh, the second the lens on the other side. Now this is the side towards the focuser. The other thing to note is that the, uh, the side towards the focuser is a much deeper hole. And so you'll see when Mike puts this back in that, it, uh, that the retaining ring is well within the canister. So now we have it complete. This is how it goes in the telescope. This side here, um, you can see there's, uh, it's a nice deep, the, the retaining ring is deep inside the canister. This side here, the retaining ring is almost at the surface of the canister, it's very close. So it goes with the back side or the side towards the focuser is the deep, uh, deep recess. And the lens in there is the extremely concave lens. Okay, so now we can go ahead and install this back in the telescope. Okay, you just slide in there. It's it's got to go straight or else it sticks. So you so push very lightly. There you go. Now once it goes in, it just slide in, and now it'll stop. And it goes all the way up to a stop. And putting the baffle on, it's actually the baffle that holds it in place.
for this 17. Okay, and there we go, it's all set. And this, you just, again, doesn't need to be that tight. <clears throat> it runs up against a nice stop and you're set. So now we've installed the bafflets inside the lens group. All right, so here's the focuser. Now we also have a bafflet for the focuser. The bafflet has a, um, a kind of shiny side and has a roughed up side here that's been painted. So we turn the focuser upside down and there is a step in there. And what we're going to do is on the, the um, shiny side, we're going to put two, three drops of um, any super glue. Almost any glue will work because this is a very lightweight um, bafflet. You're going to put three drops on there, lower it here down to the stop, push it down, and let it set. And this aperture stop ends up blocking all of this, you know, this surface here. Um, inside the focus tube. So, but actually, what it does is it blocks the surfaces on anything after this out to about you know several inches. So it's a really nice baffle to cut down on some of the surfaces that need to be flat. Like this needs to be flat because sometimes we put um, put in uh, three and a half inch pieces in here. So you have to have flat here, but this completely blocks it, so none of that light can reflect. Okay, this drawing here is, is a reference drawing which shows the strong curved lens and the weaker curved lens. shows how it goes in the back of the telescope, so you put it back together correctly. Um, you can see the strong curve end points towards the focuser and the other side points towards the secondary. So that's pretty much all there is to putting these bafflets in. If you have any other questions, please give us a call at Plane Wave. Thanks.